Hi, I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV Travel Quest. Hi, I'm Rob from RV Travel Quest, and this is... I'm Sherry. <laughs> and today, I'm going to talk to Sherry about her new job that she had to drive to from Fort McDowell. Uh-huh. So, how was your drive? The commute was actually pretty easy. Most of uh, the drive is just going... Uh, down the I-87, I think it is, yeah. until you hit the 202, and once you hit the 202, it backs up pretty good, but um, until then, piece of cake. Yeah, so it's a little breezy out here, so sorry about the wind, but, uh, so, are you glad to be back to work? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to answer that question right now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you liked working. I enjoy what I do, but I also enjoy time off. Yeah. So she did put in her week, and then she's got about two weeks off. Mm -hmm. But then we have to be kind of more permanent for a while. So that's where we go to our next location, and we'll be there for a while and be uh, static. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, anyway, so uh, uh, your car doing all right in the, the heat and everything? Yeah, I mean, it hasn't been that hot. The hottest day we've had has been right around 97, which is the hottest day of the year so far, but yeah, it's done fine. Yeah. So, uh, what's some of the drawbacks of going to work every day and living in an RV? What positive? Drawbacks? It's the, you have the same scenario if you were working at, from home. You just um, have to get up and do your routine stuff. Yeah. So, is there uh, any drawbacks to showers, getting ready, getting dressed, uh, anything like that when it comes to working every day? I don't have any trouble. And as I said, it's pretty much the same as if you lived in a house in our apartment. You still have to go through the same routines. <laughs> you would think every time she gets up in the morning that she'd wake me up or something. I don't hear her. <laughs> I sleep way too well. <laughs> anyway, I know you probably worry about waking me up, but I never hear you. I try to be quiet, but once again, I would do that <laughs> no matter what. Um, take the dog for a quick walk, uh, you know, so yeah, it's pretty much same routine. I do enjoy being able to come home and uh, kick back and relax a little bit yeah. outside. And the thing is, is if for some reason we're in this place for a while and the commute's too hard or something like that, we can just get up and move. Yeah. You can't do that when you own a house. <laughs> yeah, and the you know, funny thing, and I want to bring this up, uh, is so we're thinking, well, maybe we'll rent a house for six months or a year, or whatever we want to do, but we don't know how long everything's going to last down here. And then we started looking at the numbers, and uh, a decent house down here, 1295 to 1595 depends if you get a pool with it or not and they're not like the glamorous house I mean they're okay houses and stuff but then you look at the numbers of we're in our house we got our stuff we're comfortable and you know uh, the worst scenario is paying maybe 900 a month or less in an RV park depends where you, what kind of park you go to worst scenario about 900 a month let's say and you play the numbers and you think about the utility bills and, and on top of the rent and all that stuff, it's only a, it's all, almost a 50% difference. Well, yeah, and if you add on to it, if you have a pool, maintenance on a pool and stuff like this, uh, here we don't have to maintain a pool. Um, the downside of it is it's not our property, so we can't really go out and put flower beds or anything any place we want. Yeah. Um, that's not what I like to do anyway, so um, it doesn't bother me a bit. Yeah. So, anyway, so that's Sherry's scenario. I thought we'd share that a little bit. Hey, in the comments below, uh, if you have any comments about if you're an R RVer or going to be an RVer, if you have information you want to share with people, we'll make sure and do other videos based on your comments. Um, but yeah, if you do have questions about how we deal with one working and not working. Like I said, I'm a kept man. <laughs> um, and I get a pension, plus I also have our company. But uh, So we keep busy. We're never bored. But uh, down below in your uh, comments, if you have uh, stories you want to share with us about 
working every day, nine to five, things like that. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. So I'm Rob. I'm Sherry. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching our videos. Please take the time to like and subscribe to our videos to see our future shows. Also next to me is a few of our more popular shows. Thanks for watching.